right, um, I don't know if you can hear me. It is day two of the trip. I'll try to shield the camera from the wind. <clears throat> but I am at Split Rock, which is, man, it's still a couple hundred miles away from Yellowstone, but I'm on a detour route to go to Shoshone, Wyoming. But um, just so I can uh, camp. And then I'll get up real early tomorrow and get to Yellowstone. But anyway, this is Split Rock. Let me do a panoramic. Over there is the road I am taking. But uh, yeah, so I'm in Wyoming. I'm at a place called Split Rock. And Split Rock was a... Um, Exchange place for the Pony Express. Uh, the riders would come here. This was from 1860 to 1861. Also, this was the home of uh, the Shoshone, the Arapaho, the Crow, and the Sioux Indians. And it uh, eventually, the white man came in with the 11th Cavalry from Ohio, or the 11th U.S. Cavalry, which was coming from Ohio eventually cleared this land, unfortunately, of Native Americans, um, lots of warfare, but in this area alone. Uh, my guess would be that this is an ancient river, or maybe a lake bed, um, but who knows. But uh, yeah, thought I'd show you this uh, very unique area, um, very beautiful. And uh, all right, awesome. Maybe see you later today, maybe not, who knows. Alright, it is part two of day two, which is August 7th. Um, I decided to call it quits a little early today. I was going to go to um, a state park and camp in Shoshone, Wyoming, but it was kind of backtracking, as in going towards uh, um, Yellowstone National Park, it would have been kind of backtracking. and going away from it so I decided to keep going and I had another itinerary list day um, kind of just pulled into this sleepy little town that looks pretty cool um, I'm pulling up to it I've already been there to check in but I, I got a little motel at the Frontier Lodge it's a cool little lodge I'll show you later um, but yeah so as you can see the mountains are in the background yeah totally cool but uh Yeah. But um, yeah, I like to see a little bit of Americana. Uh, it's not just about the national parks. I like to see little towns and just see the differences, you know. I'm not used to this kind of thing, like a little sleepy town in the mountains. But it's really cool. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'll be tonight. I'm planning on getting up real early and heading to, to Yellowstone. Yellowstone is very busy so you have to kind of get there early to get you a spot for camping but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh i appreciate these little towns and this little time i get to do this um well looks like coming to uh going to break through downtown so again i uh yeah not not too awesome but i mean it's okay um yeah i'm gonna hit Yellowstone tomorrow. Uh, talk to you later.